it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for the WikiLeaks document, because so many things are, are, are about deniability and distancing and not taking responsibility. And El Salvador is a classic example. You can push away with a distance and you can put a layer of, you know, the local police forces in between um, your actions. And there's always been plausible deniability. What WikiLeaks gave us was a clear indication from the U.S. State Department that they knew what was, go they knew what was going on. And it was that bedrock. And also the information from Frago 242 that um, officially there was an order to ignore torture that, you know, give journalists like me and other investigative journalists the basis of something to work on, something that, that actually can't be denied because it's there in black and white. And that is an extraordinarily valuable tool for an investigative journalism. And you wouldn't be seeing this film, we wouldn't be looking back at El Salvador if it hadn't been for WikiLeaks.